Good morning, you guys. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. It's Tuesday. I don't know what day it is, but it's still January. Anyway, I didn't come in yesterday because I didn't have anything to report. <coughs> but I'm outside walking the dog right now, and it's 30 degrees outside. But, um, anyways, I woke up this morning. Well, let me give you my stats. We'll start at the beginning. Um, my name is Maria. I'm 39 years old. I'm at 5 foot 10. My heaviest all-time weight was 400 pounds. My heaviest weight prior to VSG surgery was 292. I went through the consultation process. I dropped down to 275, which was my day of surgery. And as of yesterday, I was still 229. But as of this morning, your girl weighed in at an ultimate low so far to date. 226.4 so that's a total loss from 292 to 226 of 65 pounds since the start of my VSG journey now um, for the past week I've been keto low carb high fat and um, there's a thing when you're doing the ketogenic diet that there's a process called the whoosh effect. And my weight stuck at 229 literally all week long. So, I knew that it was eventually going to happen. I just wasn't expecting to, for it to happen overnight. Um, I'm still going to remain on track with my ketogenic diet. I made a post on my Instagram page that I was going to start doing Herbalife, which I'll have a shake every now and again, but I'm still going to stick to my low-carb, high-fat way of eating. So for now, that's what I'm doing. But um, come February, um, there's a challenge going to be going on with Emily on Keto and her best friend Kirsten here on YouTube, which I haven't checked out her video just yet, but I know she just posted about the challenge. So I'm gonna watch that video after I load this up and um, I wanna do it with her. I went through her page and uh, she's not VSG at all, but I am. But that still doesn't change the way that you can eat in order to be able to be, you know, have good progress and stuff like that. Come on, pretty girl. So, um, I'm going to do that challenge with her once I find out everything that it consists of. In the meantime, um, still not working out. I did like maybe one day of Zumba this week. And the rest is just be me controlling my eating habits and the way that I eat and stuff like that. Um, I spoke to my nutritionist about my calories and where I should be. Being that on the 7th, I'll be six months getting back inside my nose is red um come on pretty girl no she ain't playing with everybody um she says at this point you know it would like me to be anywhere between 800 and 1200 calories which is okay because i set my fitness pal to 900 calories prior to speaking with her but as of now my fitness pal is set to 1200 calories um, for my daily caloric intake and my macros are set to, um, 5% carbs, um, 70% fat and the rest protein, which I still get my protein, at least 60 grams of protein a day. So that has nothing to do with that because it's still set up for it. Anyway, um. Yeah, I'm going to sit right here with my Patriots. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's pretty much what's been happening. I took my extensions down last night and did an oil treatment. So I was like, hmm, maybe that my hair was holding on to the weight, but no, just kidding. Anyway, um, so I'm going to be doing the challenge with her once I find out exactly what it is. Regardless to what it is, I'm going to do it with her, however long it is. I need accountability for what I'm, you know. To reach my next goal also on my weight loss app 
I'm no longer an obese class three, no longer an obese class two, I'm an obese class one. I have, um, according to that, in order for me to get to 175, I have like 51 pounds left to lose. Um, I've lost 65 pounds since um, the start of my journey. I do apologize, this video is all over the place. I'm a little bit excited at the same time. I've been uh, drinking my water. I bought the Crystal Light, the big packets of Crystal Light um, that you get at Walmart. That's been my saving grace to get my fluids in. And um, I'm going to continue buying those. Um, it's to the point where now my husband even likes them. So I was like, I can't fight him anymore. I'm like, okay, go ahead, eat them. Um, me drink them. You can't eat Crystal Light unless you can hmm. experiment in the future. Anyway, um, last night I t attempted a new recipe, and it's hard for me to film, uh, like, making food recipes and stuff like that, because I'm using my phone until I can get a laptop, until I can get an actual camera. I'm filming and recording on my phone. I do apologize for that, but I went on, I saw it on my husband's Facebook page first. It's for Parmesan chicken carbonara, no egg. So the recipe calls for Parmesan cheese, um, all-purpose flour, um, heavy whipping cream, salt, pepper, bacon, onions, garlic, you know. Just look it up on YouTube because that's where I found the video as well. But they also have an alternative version to where instead of using all-purpose flour, you can use almond flour. So that really helped me to be able to keep it low carbon keto friendly and the servings was the servings for four um i guess it was the ingredients that i used because in her version she used half and half instead of heavy whipping cream so my calories per serving when i made it for the four servings was like 900 and something calories i was like that is like a lot for one serving so instead of the four servings i Divided it. I still put the same amount of ingredients. I still use the same amount. It was two chicken breasts cut in half Which were 28 ounces of chicken So I instead of me doing it for a serving of four I did it for a serving of eight which brought the calories down to to match her macros Anyway, it was delicious We paired it with um, the broccolini that I had got when I went to the D-Clab uh, fresh market when I went to Atlanta last weekend so um and we have leftovers with the rest of the chicken in a pack I also um put that in my crock pot to have for meal prep during the week which I might have a chicken salad whenever I decide to break my fast because I'm fasted over 12 hours as of right now I ended my I started my fast about six o'clock last night and Okay, come on, Fitbit. Hold on, let me see what time it is. Hold on, guys. And it's 8.09 right now. So I'm 14 hours fasted. I've just been drinking, you know, my Crystal Light and things like that. So I'm not even hungry right now. So if anything, I'll probably have a cup of coffee. Um, If I do want anything. If not, then I'll just continue to drink my liquids. But, yeah, guys, sorry to go off on a little tangent and um, deviate from the focus of this video. But, just wanted to let you guys know what was going on and why I didn't come in yesterday. But, I will be six months out, February 6th, 7th, <laughs> February 7th, 2018, I'll be at my six-month search anniversary, And I have no idea what I'm going to do. But my next weight loss goal is 225, and I'm knocking on the door. So, I can't wait, guys. I can't wait. Because my next goal weight after that will be 200 pounds. So, it's like every 25 pounds, I have a weight loss goal. So, I'm almost to my second weight loss goal. My first was 250. My second is 225. You guys, it's a roller coaster ride for this VSG surgery and weight loss journey but it is so worth it 
when you have the non-scale victories, when you see your body transforming and your changes, your mood, the way things are around you. It's so exciting. It's, a, it's an emotional roller coaster, but it's like so worth it. So worth it. So, guys, I'm going to end the video here. I will check in with you guys on my six month anniversary. And you guys have a good day. Take care. Bye.